All right, guys, a new week, a new portfolio review. Today, we will roast two portfolios. I know that you'll actually enjoy this, and I'm gonna share with you a bunch of tips that you can apply to your own portfolio so you can make sure that you'll actually get that first developer job. Because listen, it's never been easier to get a developer job, and it's never been harder to get a developer job. Because although you have more resources than ever, and the barrier of entry into the world of coding is lower than ever, the standards are higher than they have ever been before and unfortunately a lot of people are still coding and building projects like it's 2015 the projects that used to work when i got hired are not relevant anymore but if you watch this video and you watch the rest of my videos where i roast portfolios and if you take notes and if you implement every single thing that i'm talking about you'll actually make it as a developer so Without any further ado, let's get actually into roasting these portfolios. We have one portfolio from Marian and I saw him on LinkedIn. I want to explore his projects. I want to explore his portfolio. I'm going to give him some feedback. And by the way, if you want me to review your portfolio, send it at christian at developerpro.io. And I'm going to say uh, the website, it looks very nice. It's uh, very simple, very clean, very minimal. Uh, the, I like the colors, so I'm really happy with with how it looks. I think it's a bit too simple, but again, I've seen portfolios that are bloated with text, with images, with animations, and I would rather have something like this, clean, minimal, to the point, rather than um, some bloated uh, website that is trying to show off um, some basic skills that for beginners, they look quite amazing. Anyway, besides that, um, I can tell, hopefully, that uh, Marian here bought a team. Maybe he didn't buy a team, but uh, looking at these projects, and I can see how different they look in design, I tend to believe that this is a team. There's nothing wrong if this is a team. Uh, I actually encourage you to buy a team. If you're not a designer, buy a team. It's going to cost you $50, but it's going to make your project look so much better. So let's look at uh, these projects. Let's see what we have over here. So this is a very, again, pretty good looking, quite simple application. Uh, I think it's using the MovieDB API. Let me see. I know this because I've also used this API for yeah, for my project in 2016. Um, I think it's a very basic project. It just demonstrates the ability to fetch some data. But uh, again, there could be more things added here. So for example, when I've made my project, it's not anymore online. But when I made my project, um, besides this basic image and this text here, I've also listed all the actors and I had a link to each actor's page so then you can get information about the actor i think i have added um, a list with similar movies i think i have added the trailers that you can look at so i've tried to squeeze as much juice as possible from that lemon so the problem with junior developers that i see a, quite a lot is that they have uh, one page and that page has a little bit of text, a little bit of like one or two pictures, and that's it. Instead of just trying to stuff as many, I don't know, requests as possible, just try to make that page look as good as possible. And you don't need to be that intelligent to do that. You can just go to uh, IMDB, right? You go to IMDB and you go and you find an example, I guess. So we have the poster, then we have the, the trailer, right? And I'm pretty sure that the MovieDB API is gonna give you photos, it's gonna give you the cast. So there is more juice to be squeezed from this page, okay? And if we go back, I would like to see some pagination, basically see more movies or see movies that are in theaters right now, movies, Maybe I would like to see movies that are sorted by genre, like for example, drama or comedy or rom-com or whatever. Uh, he kind of did that here, right? Then we have Xora, uh, which is the next generation front. Oh no, that's Vid. I have no idea what Xora is. Let's have a look. <clears throat> 
amazing simple we designed Zora AI video editor to be an easy to use quick tool learn and surprisingly powerful make sure that you check your spelling try it now uh, this doesn't work this doesn't work so probably this is just a presentational website again i wouldn't consider this good enough to be in your portfolio if you want to be a developer uh, i would like to see an application and then we have the infamous weather app which doesn't work and then we have the ebook store which is the e-commerce website, the infamous e-commerce website. Yeah, very basic. Um, the projects are very basic. Again, I can see with Marian that has a lot of potential, uh, but he is not there yet. Okay, this is my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is he better than I think or would you rate him lower than what I said? Now, this is uh, the Albanian coder, Dennis. The website looks really great. So if he designed it, that's amazing. And if he bought a template, that's also amazing. So I highly encourage all of you to buy a template. Do not design your websites, your web applications by yourself if you are not a trained designer because you will fail and your projects will not get you what you really want okay there are no projects okay so again do not make a portfolio website if you do not have projects like the projects are more important than the portfolio website you should only have a portfolio website when you have two three solid applications uh, that you can uh, showcase okay now let me show you this real quick because I spent some time yesterday thinking about what makes a good project a good portfolio project so here we have design okay which is extremely important like most beginners underestimate how important a good design is and then we have ux which means user experience so your application should behave similarly to other similar applications that are on the market so if you make a to-do app let's say that is similar to Trello, it should behave pretty much exactly the same as Trello because people are already, let's say, groomed to use and interact with an application in a certain way. And if your application doesn't work in that particular way, then users will think it's broken. So imagine, for example, the hamburger button. So when the menu collapses, most of the time the hamburger button is on the top right. And that's what most people are expecting. But if you decide to put it on the bottom left, that's gonna be a weird placement and people will not like the experience that you have created for themselves. And again, you don't have to be a genius to figure this out. Just look at what other people are doing, do a bit of research, and then you'll find exactly how to build your user experience. Then we have functionality. So your application should actually provide some sort of value for a person. If we go to that, uh, I don't know, the weather app or this, right? This um, e-commerce thing, there is no value here. There is no problem or pain that has been alleviated. There is no problem that has been solved. Same with this um, cinema thing, right? I'm pretty sure if you guys do any kind of research on a movie app online, you'll find some interesting take on this. And if you want to create a movie application because you are a movie enthusiast, there are things that you can research and you can implement and make this actually usable and interesting for the end user because that's what matters most. If you're looking for app ideas, then Product Hunt is gonna help you a lot. Um, here, there are a lot of people that are trying their hand at creating their own tech startup and again you don't have to create your own tech startup but why not you know what i mean that's going to make you stand out so you can research the latest applications that have been submitted and then you can see which one you like you know maybe you're gonna install speed bump you're gonna check it out maybe you check out pieces see how that works maybe you're gonna check out quotes again you can add your own spin to things 
and uh, if you have a community of people that can support you in this maybe they can upvote you and then you can put that in your resume and say hey i've been upvoted on product hunt and i have created this and this and this again i want you guys to be creative and i want you guys to think outside the box because you will be rewarded massively for this if you just follow the exact same thing as everyone else you'll be getting the same thing as everyone else which is nothing okay just the scraps if you if if those okay so be smart be creative think outside the box research create applications that are interesting for others because at the end of the day like if you want to be part of this tech industry you need to show that you are interested in it okay if you are just in it for the money which is nothing bad but if you are just hey this is these are two applications that they've made give me a job if you have that attitude maybe you don't say it maybe you don't think it but that's how people will perceive it when they see uh projects that you know look like this you know they are unfinished that's what people think for for real okay i'm not even capping at this point uh i hope you understand that so if you are a bit creative and you search uh, outside of your comfort zone i'm pretty sure you will be successful in a matter of uh, a couple of months okay if you want me to help you with all this if you want me to give you a clear roadmap that you can follow so you don't fall into the trap of building very basic applications and then expecting you know massive changes in your life and in your earning potential then click on the first link in the description we have a money back guarantee I have solved all your problems. All you have to do is actually doing the work, okay? So again, click on the first link in the description and let me know what you think about my review uh, regarding these two guys that I showed you here on this video. Peace out.